in this particular session we will continue with our next application from the pen tester lab so let's get started application was installed and we have the same objective we need to figure out what was hard coded and where it is so just go with the application here and let's decompile with the JDEX. go with android 04 open file and again go with the same package name first or the main activity class first and the main activity class was located inside your com pen tester lab android 04 and main activity so let's go with the source code com pen tester lab dot android 04 and then your main activity here now if you just go with this main activity you can see we got two declaration here declarations have two different values first one was your edit text with the name pin then we got a button with the name submit here inside this on create method we complete this declaration with the initialization part where we define this particular pin will be related to my input field and this submit button will be related to my button which was available with this name inside the application then we also set a on click listener for this particular button which will be available here if you just go with the on click method which will be triggered by your view element or the button here we got two conditions and if both the conditions were true here we again simply define an intent with the same name intent here and then this particular intent will interact with the message activity dot class file we also add a extra element or a variable you can say the variable name was pin here which we also call key here the key or the variable you can call it whatever you want key and variable both were same thing here so you can call it variable for a better convenience so we define a variable with the name pin and we add our input here and send it to the message activity class so let's go with our message activity class here right click go to declaration inside this message activity class you can see we got our declaration for a text view with the name message then inside the own create method we simply handle our intents and then collect our extra elements and convert it into string and put them in inside our pin variable then we simply show a message and the message was the key is after printing this particular string the key is we simply call a method secure storage dot decrypt secure storage is the class and this decrypt here is the particular function which we are calling here and if you scroll towards the right hand side you can see that we are also passing some attribute or some passing some values to this decrypt function so we are sending two different values first one was your utf 16 format value and then we are also passing this 52 as an integer part but we simply convert it into bytes to be sent so what we need to do here we just simply go with the decrypt function let's see what was the code running behind this decrypt function so just go with the right click here go to the declaration and inside this decrypt function you can see we are running this simple line of code to perform some kind of decryption so here to get the complete hard coded value do you just have to execute the same decrypt code here so what i'll do i'll simply execute this code on an online java compiler here but first of all let's copy the decrypt code here so i'll go with this machine i'll simply copy the code for this decrypt function copy and paste it here we got the decrypt method now what we have to do is we just need to call this decrypt method and to make a call for this method i'll go back to my message activity class and then copy this line from decrypt and up to my byte 52 copy and paste it here inside your system.out.println here so we can print the content of this decrypt method because it will simply return a string value and we will simply print the string value with this system.out.println function now i'm also removing these extra lines that were available here done so what i have done is i have simply copied that decrypt function call from here and put that here inside my main activity class i simply make a call to this decrypt function i have also copied this decrypt function from the same secure storage class here just copy this decrypt function 
from the secure storage class and paste it here so we can call this method and let's give it a check let's execute this and here you can see we were able to decrypt that utf16 encoded value into your simple plain text so in some cases you will get some encryption or some decryption keys or you will also get some encrypted values which you have to decrypt or you will also get some encoded value which you have to decode as per their algorithms and for the both encryption part especially you will get your keys somewhere located inside your strix.xml file somewhere located inside your manifest file or somewhere located inside your java source code itself so this was your fourth application from the pentester lab have a good day and stay connected